Welcome everyone, this is Shane with Vested Interest coming back to you again to wrap up our 11 sectors series, market sector series. Uh, you've probably been hearing a lot lately about the sector rotation or market sector rotation that's going on. That is part of the reason for uh, this video series, understanding the different market sectors and which sectors of the market do better in different times, depending on how the economy is doing, when the economy is booming, when the economy is in recession, when the economy is just kind of humming along sideways. Different market sectors do better than others. Right now, there is a big rotation out of tech into um, more value, what they call value stocks, and that's really just areas of the, of the market like uh, consumer uh, consumer staples that people buy all the time in other areas where you find value out of the high uh, high value uh, or high multiple sectors that may not be necessarily based on actual earnings but based on future earnings uh, which to me is a speculation at best whenever you're not looking at what a company is currently making and rather projecting out what it may make in the future as it's you know, piling up losses and, and extreme debt. That is a speculative move. But that is the state of the economy now. We are kind of slowing down. Looks like we may raise rates. And so again, that is always a good time to look at the different sectors, where your money is invested, and maybe adjust your allocations accordingly. And with that said, let's get right into the video. Again, here are the different sectors, communication services, consumer discretionary, consumer staples. Uh, that sector typically does well regardless of the economic conditions, but it is an area people look for safety whenever we are facing higher rates or facing recession. Energy is another one. Financials, uh, they may benefit from higher rates as well. Obviously, if your bank's going to charge you higher interest rates, they would benefit from that. Healthcare with our aging population, I think that's a sector everyone should be in regardless. Uh, we have the baby boomers retiring over the next, you know, five to 10 years, 15 years have been retiring for about five to 10 years and they will be aging and they are the largest population block in America and, and actually the world in general is getting older. So healthcare is probably an area, a sector you want to be invested in. Industrials, information technology, this is the sector that people are rotating out of. You had a lot of companies with high valuations that didn't really match their earnings, so people are getting out of those areas. Great sector to be in whenever rates are low and companies can take on a lot of debt, cheap. But when, again, rates go up, that debt becomes much more expensive and it definitely impacts those future earning projections. Materials, real estate, and last is utilities and just like we talked last time you can invest individually into each one into stocks into each one of these different sectors which is what i do a lot of or you can invest in etfs and index and or index funds that kind of pull a basket of stocks in all of these sectors or in a few of these sectors together in one etf So in this video, we will cover the last two sectors, the real estate sector and the utility sector. And we'll start off with the real estate sector. Real estate sector consists of properties, residential, commercial, industrial, land and improvements, which include buildings, fixtures, roads, structures, and utility systems. Property rights give a title of ownership to the land improvements and natural resources such as minerals, plants, animals, waters, etc. This sector also includes companies that buy, manage, and sell real estate such as REITs. The real estate sector consists of two industries, equity real estate investment trusts or REITs or real estate management and development companies. My current holdings within the sector, Gladstone Commercial Corp, ticker GOOD, which most of these uh, are REITs, actually all of these are REITs here, National Retail Properties, ticker NNN, Realty Income Corp, ticker O, that's a monthly paying REIT. Good is also a monthly paying REIT. Omega Healthcare Investors is one I recently opened a position in and will be adding to significantly. This is a very high um, multiple uh, dividend payer, 7 8% dividend return on this one here, ticker OHI. Orion Office REIT, Inc., ticker ONL. This was Orion Office REIT was a spinoff of Realty Income recently. Stag Industrial Inc., ticker STAG, 
and store capital corp ticker s-t-o-r that store is one of the few reits that you if you looked at like warren buffett's 13f you'll find store in there which was a little surprising to me but he does own some reit in that or some reits which is primarily this store capital on my watch list in this sector essex property trust ticker ess federal realty investment trust ticker frt and crown castle International Corp, ticker CCI. Now we come to the last sector in our sector 11 sector series, util the utility sector. The utility sector refers to a category of companies that provide basic amenities such as water, sewage services, electricity, dams, and natural gas, part of your everyday needs and uses bringing gas and electric into your home and taking waste, water, and sewage away from it. The utility sector consists of five industries. You have electric utilities, gas utilities, independent power and renewable electricity producers, multi-utilities, and water utilities. My current holdings in the utility sector, Brookfield Infrastructure Partners, limited, it's a limited partnership, ticker, that's what the LP stands for, ticker BIP. DT Energy Company, this is actually, I live in Michigan, this is actually the provider of my uh, gas, natural gas, DTE Energy Company, ticker DTE. DT Midstream, did, DT Midstream is actually a oil and, and gas as well, but they were a spinoff from DTE. This is not one I purchased, it was a spinoff, so I have shares in that based on the shares that I had from DTE when they did the spinoff earlier this year. DT Midstream is ticker DTM. And Next Era Energy Incorporated, ticker NEE. On my watch list is Atmos Energy Corp. Atmos Energy is actually on my watch list. This is one that I used. Uh, Atmos Energy was my supplier when I lived in uh, Dallas, Texas, ticker ATO. Consolidated Edison, ticker ED. American States Water Company, ticker AWR. And American Water Works Company, ticker AWK. And these last two, American States Water Company and American Water Works Company are two that I really wanna get into. They're just very high with low dividend yield. But I believe in the future, water will be a resource that is not quite as in abundance as now. And you're starting to see it like earlier this year, whenever uh, California was dealing with some of their water issues, talking about trying to pull water from uh, the Mississippi River. Again, I live in Michigan, so I've heard for years about different states wanting to tap into the Great Lakes or the Mississippi River and, and pull water into their states whenever they have water issues, droughts, that sort of thing. So that's one I would definitely watch and whenever there's a downturn or these become uh, more affordable i would jump in those just a recommendation not financial advice and that wraps up our 11 sector series guys what did you think of the the series what do you think of those two sectors within uh within the market do you own any of the companies that I'm currently holding? What are some in those sectors that you are looking at? If you haven't done so, if you could take a moment and hit the thumbs up button or thumbs down if you didn't like the, the series or the video today, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified of future videos. I will be uh, covering my purchases for this week here, probably a Sunday. I'll probably make it a purchase on either Thursday or Friday, so that video will be coming up this weekend. So definitely hit that notification or subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on that one. And this is this is the end of our series. Apologies, that was my dog uh, wanting out. You may be able to hear him barking in the background. <laughs> they uh, must have seen something out in the yard that they didn't like. And this is Shane signing off, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. Hey, we'll see you in the next one. Quick disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I am only sharing my opinion and investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk. You can lose money and should never invest any amount you're not comfortable losing. Always do your own research and invest based on your situation, circumstances, and selected criteria, or seek the advice and counsel of a certified financial advisor. Stop on back, guys, and check out the next video. We'll see you. Take care. Have a good one.